After a time, they rose from the table and moved toward the front door. Barmaid Barbie waved at them as they walked across the room, and the tavern owner nodded in their direction. They almost made it outside. But an old man in a long, drab-colored robe appeared in the door. The robe was old and tattered. The man's head was bald and shiny, as if he polished it at the bowling alley. His beard hung long and tucked into his belt. It's said that the nose never stops growing. If that's true, this man was a thousand years old. Here we go, D'Amico said. He put a hand on Ladiana's shoulder, and she looked at him and smiled knowingly. What do you want, old man? Omar asked. Doom! The tavern owner jumped. Barmaid Barbie gasped in shock and covered her mouth with her hand. Prithee, good sir, Arithian asked. Doom! The old man shouted again. Is this going to go on a while? D'Amico asked. Doom! The old man bellowed, shaking the rafters. I'm going to sit down, D'Amico said. Latiana sat next to him, scooting her chair in close. After a moment, Omar and Gorthander joined them. Really, Grandfather? Arithian said. Doom! Oh, well, Arithian said. Then he took a seat. The old man shouted, his voice creaking like the hips of a hundred grandmothers. Doom for these people! Doom for you all! Doom for the entire world! Doom! I think I've seen this in a movie somewhere, D'Amico said. Princess Bride, Latiana asked. No, that was Boo. The Tick? Spoon! Maybe... We better pay attention to him, D'Amico said. He's trying, the old man said. Yes, he is. He is trying, and he will find it. He will find it unless you stop him. He will find it unless you find it first. And where is this magical artifact, D'Amico asked, skipping several pages in the script. How do you know it's a magical artifact? Latiana asked. It's always a magical artifact, D'Amico said. Blame Tolkien. Oh, hell, I think we just hit his reset button. Doom for this village! Doom for this nation! Doom for every living thing! Doom! Who brings us this doom, good sirrah? Arithian asked. Heraldoff! Oh, good grief, there's someone in this world named Heraldoff? D'Amico asked. He is the overlord! He rules the world. He rules the world, and now he's going to destroy it. Well, of course, D'Amico said. The name like Heraldoff, he couldn't have had a very good childhood. He is seeking it, the old man wailed. He paced back and forth now, wringing his hands. He smelled like a locker room after a marathon on the surface of the sun. He is looking, but he hasn't found it, the old man's eyes rolled. He's seeking, what, D'Amico asked. Doom! The old man said. Omar ordered a beer. Doom for the kitties! Doom for the puppies! Doom for babies and mothers and sisters! You think he's going to do the whole phylum? The Miko asked. Doom! They were just getting around to lunch when the old man got to the point. By then, Omar and Gorthander compared the new axes, and D'Amico and Latiana had moved in close and talked about their favorite films. The artifact is hidden, the old man said. Oh, here we go, D'Amico said, paying attention again. Gorthander and Omar didn't seem to notice, so D'Amico said, Gorthander, convenient plot exposition man is getting to the point. It is hidden, and he's looking for it. Search beyond the swamp of despair. Search past the mountains of fell ruin. Search in the heart of darkness itself, the old man said. Is there a bus tour? D'Amico asked. 